Hi guys, so today I have a super exciting package from Zelma Meat. So if you're not familiar with Zelma Meat, it's basically a steakhouse in London that have halal options available. Um, now they have a branch in Knightsbridge and a branch in Soho and their steaks were really well priced, really well cooked, their sides are amazing. I actually really missed their truffle chips with the parmesan, oh that was like amazing, the best fries. Finally, they have just dropped their halal steak box for two people and they decided to send me over a package. So, here's my exciting Zalman package. Over here we have the Canadian sirloin. Then we have the Australian ribeye steak. Looks very good. We have the barbecue sauce with a sweet peppercorn spice. We have the steak herbs to use. Then we have the tipsy cabbage, which is a side. So this is the cabbage with anchovy butter. The tomatoes, the olive oil, and the tomato pesto and the burrata. And plus they have written a nice lovely note. And they have basically do the barcode in order to get the instruction. I'm super excited about this. Thank you, Zalman, for finally doing a halal steak box. Basically it doesn't require much, it should take less than 10 minutes to put together. And yeah, so let's go. I've let it rest, I've taken my photos, the cabbage is done. Over here, it's the hipsy cabbage with the anchovy chili butter. So good. Now, I actually forgot to tell you guys a story right at the beginning of the post. Basically, I got the Zalman package and on the front of the box it said to store between one and eight degrees. And for some reason, I thought that said store between minus one and minus eight degrees. So I put everything in the freezer, except the cabbage. And everything got frozen. Left everything in the fridge to defrost. And when it came to the burrata, the burrata is completely frozen. And while the cheese itself is not that bad, it's like actually fine. The pesto, tomato pesto is fine. The olive oil is fine. We're having a problem with the tomatoes because they are frozen and they're so squishy they're actually going to pop. That was the end of my story, because I'm really silly and I don't read instructions properly. So I'm gonna try put together what I can with the burrata. Okay, well this is my fancy burrata plate. I had to use my own tomatoes because this is what happened with the tomatoes. Anyway, everything is done. Um, it is a little cold, so I am very sorry about that. And like I said, the burrata is, I think, frozen still. Go for the steak first. Now let's try the sirloin. Now I did overcook the sirloin, which I know is like a sin. Here is my overcooked steak. It is a very well medium well. Mmm. That. It's cooked so well that it's actually really nice and soft. The crust from the peppercorn spice they provided that you season the steak with, highly recommend you use that when you are making the steak. I can taste the butter, I can taste, it's just delicious. Yes, I know it's like well done and it's overcooked, but very, very good sirloin. The fat that I just got was instantly melts in my mouth. I'm gonna go for the ribeye. You see, so this is cooked more to a medium rare to medium. Ribeye is my absolute favorite cut of steak. 
I love the fact that marble syrup, it just makes the meat so, so ridiculously soft. I actually prefer the ribeye to the sirloin, but they're both very, very good, both very tender. Obviously the ribeye has a richer flavor because of the fat marbling that it has. Just make sure you do follow the instructions that they have given. It just makes it easier and it basically teaches you how to make a good steak. I would prefer if they gave you a choice of what sauce you want. I love the chimichurri sauce, so it'd be cool if they gave you an option upon checkout move on to the cabbage. Now this is the hipsy cabbage which has been charred and I basically doused it in an anchovy chili butter that they gave. I actually love this dish in the restaurant. They also do a broccoli version which is just as good. The cabbage is nice and soft and then the chili anchovy butter is like a salty punch. Like as soon as you take a bite into it you're like whoa. But it's all umami flavours. The chili adds a nice kick to it too. And finally I don't know why I'm going to record this, but this is the burrata, which I'm going to cut into. And I know it's not going to cut. It's all really, really good. Doesn't make me miss actually eating at Zalman, so sorry Zalman, I'm gonna have to wait a while till I'm coming back. Okay, so per person, the price comes to about £37.50, which is really good value for money, I believe, because you get a whole steak, you get the trimmings along the side. You get one whole burrata per person. I think that's insane. <laughs> now in terms of delivery, they do deliveries every Wednesday and Friday. You must order the week before though. And it is the Halal Zalman Steak box. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to the box in the description box below. I highly recommend you guys get this kit. It's really, really good. We'll remind you of the steakhouse that you used to go to before lockdown. And if you never got a chance to try Zalman, this is an absolutely great taster. Um, Cool, that's it for me for now. I will catch you guys next week for the next DIY box kit.